Hello everybody, welcome back to more Persona 4 for the PlayStation 2 New Game Plus Edition. I will explain what is carried over in the New Game Plus once we actually start fighting in the game. But for now, let's just let the pro prologue play out and, uh, not okay. Get your body ready, because I'm ready to eat you. Okay, that was the last part. Anyway, let's go ahead. Go upstairs. We just moved to Inaba. We're going to be here for a year, precisely. Well, not exactly a year. More like 11 months and a couple weeks, I'd say. But that doesn't matter. Anyway, so here's our room. Not much will change about it except for the boxes will be gone and there will be a bunch of random crap scattered throughout it. This is the TV. You can look at the weather channel and eventually the shopping program but for now there's nothing on it. This is uh, your desk which you can uh, study at and get knowledge once you're able to do that. Uh, this table is for doing part time jobs and this couch or sofa is for reading books on most of which will be irrelevant since I got most of my stats I got all most of my stats uh, pretty much maxed out the only two that I didn't get maxed out was diligence and understanding I think and they were really close to maxing out like maybe if I just got diligence or understanding up one more time it would have been maxed out but uh, yeah and this is our futon uh, you can sleep on it, obviously, and you'll have dreams um, sometimes that will give you some extra uh, relationship points towards your social links, uh, if that makes any sense. It doesn't matter. Well, I mean, it does, but... I'm not going to make a big deal out of trying to explain it. I'm not good at explaining things. Anyway, we'll be living at this town for almost a year, <laughs> starting today. You wonder if everything will be alright. Hmm. <laughs> what if the whole game was just, like, a casual simulation like The Sims? Nothing goes wrong, just day by day. <sighs> that would be That would be quite the game. That would be quite boring, too. Anyway, this is a dream. It's actually foreshadowing an area at the very end of the game, to say the least. But I'm not going to spoil anything. Thick fog. Hmm. I'm sure that has nothing to do with the game whatsoever. <laughs> anyway, uh, we can walk around. If you try and go back, you can't. So, yeah. Chicken Dumpling here has some interesting dreams. And by interesting, I mean boring. I'd hate to have a dream like this. Do you seek the truth? I reach out to the truth, if that's what you mean. Of my life. <laughs> I hold out. Wait, is it? So I hold out. I reach out to the truth of my life. And then who remembers the rest, right? <laughs> anyway, you'll see what I'm talking about later. You send someone behind the store. <laughs> Doesn't look like a door, it's just like. I cubed me. <laughs> Whatever. He's actually dreaming about geometry class. <laughs> so, you are the one pursuing me. <laughs> Try all you like. So, this is a little bit, a little taste of uh, the combat. Not much, but you can guard, you can attack. And you can uh, use some of your persona's moves 
which you don't have a persona yet, but well, you'll see. It kind of shows like a little silhouette of the first persona you'll be getting. Anyway, so you can feel away. You possesses. And for the sake of trying something new, we'll attack it instead. Uh oh, bewildering fog. Is that equivalent to sand attack in Pokemon? Let's guard. Everyone sees what they want to, and the fog only deepens. Let's get my defense up. I feel like we're gonna die. That's not foreshadowing anything at all. Nope. Anyway, April 12th, 2011. It's a Tuesday. Bre breakfast is ready. I'm glad you're ready to be eaten. <sighs> you're starting school today. You should head to the living room for now. Good morning. Toast, eggs, and bacon. Okay. And chicken dumplings. Let's eat. I can toast bread <clears throat> and cook sunny side up eggs in the morning. I'm not gonna make a sexist joke Dad about you cook, cooking. So I buy dinner. <clears throat> You're starting school today, right? My school's on the way, so. Let's go together. I actually like a girl who can cook. If you catch my drift. <laughs> what am I talking about? I don't know how to cook for crap, man. I put everything in the microwave. <laughs> you keep going straight from here. My school's this way. Bye. Oh, how adorable. <laughs> Raining on your first day of school now. That's pretty sad. Anyway, that was the floodplains. Not too much exciting things happen down there. Wow, I think you need to go back to training wheels. <laughs> what if he was trying to learn how to ride a bike for the first time? Yeah, let's just leave him be. That's what you get for trying to hold an umbrella and ride a bike at the same time. That's multitasking, my friend. See that guy running? He runs all the time. What kind of student life will await? I guess I'll find out. I'm going to be doing things that I didn't do in, uh, in my first playthrough, so. Some of the things I'll be doing will be blind. Such as Drama Club. I'm going to do Drama Club instead of Music Club. Uh, talk about bad luck. The homeroom teacher here is Moraoka, isn't it? Maruka. Yeah, it's King Moron, all right. We get to enjoy his long-ass sermons every day for a whole year. Hey, you guys, I heard there's going to be a transfer student from the city in this class. Wow, word gets around fast here. Huh? Really? A guy or a girl? Both. A transfer student from the city? Just like you, huh, Yosuke? Yeah, except I know how to ride a bike. Huh? And you look dead umbrella. today. Yeah, um, I don't want to talk about it. What's with him? Who knows? <laughs> the 
of the way he walks. All right, set to oh my god! M Mr. Maruka walks just like, uh, what's his face? The main character of Persona 3, I don't know his actual name, but, um, he has his hands in his pocket, and he walks just like him. Holy crap, I real I just now realized that. That's cool. I'm Kinshiro Moraoka, your homeroom teacher from today forward. First things first, just because it's spring doesn't mean you can swoon over each other like love-struck baboons. Long as I'm around, you students are gonna be pure as the driven snow. Me and my friend uh, Kyle actually did a skit based off of this guy's speech. Now, I hate wasting yeah, my cool. time, but I'd better introduce this transfer student. This sad sack's been thrown from the big city out to the middle of nowhere like yesterday's garbage. Garbage. Yesterday's garbage. And he's just as much of a loser here as he was there. So you girls better not get any ideas about hitting on him. Oh. Tell him your name, kid, and make it quick. Chicken dumpling. <laughs> Inspector Gadget. Uh, if you say this, you'll gain uh, courage, but I don't need courage for this playthrough, so... um. Nice to meet you all. What's that look you're giving that girl back there by the window? You thought I wouldn't notice? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm already checking out the ladies. Now listen up! This town is miles away from your big city of perverts and assholes in more ways than one. Oh, what do you mean by that? You better not even think of getting involved with the girls here, let alone abusing them. But what do I know? It's not like the old days. Even here, kids grow up so damn fast. I know. Now girls... that are... not even, like... just barely... old enough to... go to high school. Well, no, I shouldn't say that. But, um... like, 16-year-old girls are getting pregnant and... Sometimes earlier, but it's around there, and uh, there's a lot of teen moms out there now, so if that doesn't say something about our current generation, I don't know what will. Every time I turn my back, you're fooling around on those damn phones, checking your life journals and your my places. Hey, you shut your face. My space was the shiz back in the day, I tell you what. Uh, excuse me, is it okay if the transfer student sits here? Huh? Yeah, sure. You hear that? Your seat's over there. So hurry up and sit down already. If I was a player, I would sit on her lap. Oh, great. I get to sit right in front of the guy who doesn't know how to ride a bike. He's the worst, huh? Rotten luck for you to get stuck in this class. Well, we'll just have to hang in there for a year. Wait, were you the one I was looking at back by the window? Sucks to be the transfer student, ending up in King Moron's class on the first morning here. Yeah, he won't think twice about suspending you if you get on his bad side. I can believe it. Then again, we're all in the same boat. Shut your traps! I'm taking roll, and I damn well expect you to respond in an orderly manner. <sighs> uh, I just thought, like, because whenever someone calls roll, and then all the, like, a majority of the students say here, and then you get to that one guy who says something really obnoxiously stupid. <laughs> Instead of saying here, like... <laughs> I'm that guy. Well, not not in real life, but like in the game. That's all for today. Normal lectures will start tomorrow. I, for, I thought my dazzle cut off because I couldn't hear anything there. Wait, what's your opinion on normal? Attention, all teachers. If that wasn't a normal lecture, I don't know what is. Please report immediately to the faculty office for a brief staff meeting. All students must return to their classrooms and are not to leave the school until further notice. Quick, jump out the window. Ugh. You heard the announcement. 
Don't go anywhere until you hear otherwise. And then everyone goes wild. I'm seriously getting on my nerves. Me too, brown haired girl. I already called the cops on him. Did something happen? Don't those sirens sound really close? Ah, I can't see a damn thing. Freaking fog. Yeah, like every time it rains lately, it gets all foggy. Hey, did you hear? I hear that paparazzi's looking all over for that announcer. Totally, Dad. Oh, yeah. You mean Mayumi Yamano, right? I heard some guy spotted her at the shopping district. Taking pictures? Actually, I heard that. What a Are creeper. You serious? <laughs> I heard she makes a mean chicken dumpling. Hey, hey Yukiko san, mind if I ask you something? Is it true that announcer staying at your family's inn? Oh boy. I can't discuss such things. Did you guys know that uh, this girl here is actually in Persona 3? Portable? Yeah, I guess That's not. Like or at least a Magi Inn is, which is the inn she works at. <sighs> Sheesh, how much longer is this gonna take? It's only been a minute! Maybe two. There's no telling. <sighs> I should have left before the announcement came on. Don't you have homework to do or something? By the way, did you try what I told you the other day? You know, that thing about rainy nights. Oh. No, not yet. Sorry. I love a rainy night. What a beautiful oh, sight. Okay. Well, it's just... I heard a guy in the class next door yell something like, My soulmate is Yamano, the announcer. Oh, sorry, that was me. Attention, all students. There has been an incident inside the school district. Police officers have been dispatched around the school zone. Please stay calm and contact your parents or guardians as soon as possible and quickly leave the school grounds. I'm an orphan though. Do not disturb the police officers. Head directly home. Disturb the police officers? Okay. I repeat. Incident? What? Something actually happened? Come on, let's go take a look. Take it now much happens here. <laughs> Hey, are you going home by yourself? Why don't you come with us? Oh, nearly forgot. I'm Chie Satonaka. You know I sit next to you, right? You do? Dude, I was sitting right next to you. I even talked to you. What you did? Anyways. A girl actually talked to me? <laughs> that never happens. No, really, it doesn't. Uh, this is Yukiko Amagi. <sighs> And I wonder why. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm s sorry. Come on, don't Cut apologize like that. It makes me look like I've got no upbringing. I just wanted to ask some stuff. Really, that's all. Uh, um, Miss Satanaka. This was really awesome. Like, the way they moved was just amazing to see. Whoa ho ho! Getting ahead of yourself, huh? And I'm really sorry. It was an accident. Please just have mercy until my next paycheck. See ya. Thanks. Stop right there. What did you do to my DVD? Dang. Ah! What the? I can't believe this. It is completely cracked. My trial of the dragon! What kind of porno is that? I think mine's cracked too. Critical hit to the nads. It's a critical hit. Like Pokemon. Uh, are you alright? Does it look like he's alright? Oh, you could go son. Are you worried about me? He's fine, Yukiko. Let's ditch him and go home. I like how that just magically appeared in a backpack. He, he, he's in a lot of pain. You should just leave him be. Sorry, man. Girls actually want me to come with them. I know. Can you believe it? Never happens. 
I'm just a small town boy living in a lonely world. I took the midnight train going. You're Yuki, right? You, you want to go hang out somewhere? You're not creepy at all. What? Who, who are you? What's up with him? What school's he from? Never mind that. He's yeah, going for Yukiko-san? <laughs> Man, you'd think he'd at least wait until she's alone to make his move. I bet you a can of tap he gets knocked out. No I bet you a can of orange smash. Haven't you heard how Fountain Dew. the Magi challenge is? Fountain Dew. I'm sorry, this is one of the drinks in Persona 3, and it's like... So obvious, it's Mountain Dew, but it's Fountain Dew, because they don't have the copyright for it. It's funny. Uh, so, uh, are you coming or not? It's blatantly obvious. I, I'm not going. Fine. Fine. Looks what, like someone turned 12 what today. What did he want from me? Your buddy. What did he want? Obviously, he was asking you out on a date. <laughs> the way she says that, on a date. <laughs> huh? Really? You really had no clue? Shh. But then again, that was way over the top. I, it was creepy how he called you Yuki all of a sudden. Yo, Yukiko-san. Turned down another lovelorn fool, huh? Man, you're cruel. You got me the same way last year. I hope you go I fall off your bike. Doing that. Well, are you serious? So then you want to hang out sometime? I'd rather not. Dang, you just got treated. That'll teach me to get my hopes up. Anyways, you two better not pick on the transfer student too much. We're just curious is all. In which um, regard? I'm sorry for dragging you into this. Come on! Let's go! Everybody is staring! I like how Chie and Yukiko, like, um, stand out in their uniforms, green and red, while everyone's wearing black or gray. <laughs> like, you don't see other girls wearing unique colors like that, just them. I don't know, I just found that interesting. I don't think Yukiko ever changes clothes throughout the whole game. Now that I think of it, you know. Well, I meant like at school, because oh, there's so you summer came clothes. Because of your parents' job? <laughs> I thought it was something way more serious. What? Like they're dead? <laughs> it's not funny. There really is nothing here, huh? Well, that is what makes it nice, but there's nothing much we can show to people from outside. Oh, you can oh, show me there what's is on something inside. from Mount Yasagami. I I think our dyed clothes or oh, yes, pottery okay. or something is kind of famous. Oh, wait, sure, Kanji, there's the Amagi Inn. Inn. Wait, Yukiko's what? family it's runs Kanji. it. It's the pride of Inaba. Huh? It's just an old inn. Oh, no way. It's been in all sort of magazines as a hidden treasure. It's a great inn. It's been going for generations, and Yukiko here is going to take over someday. The inn actually attracts a lot of visitors to Inaba. It pretty much keeps this town going. I don't think that's entirely true. So tell me, you think Yukiko's cute, huh? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I knew it. Come on, don't start this again. She's really popular at school, but she's never had a boyfriend. Kind of weird, huh? <laughs> Come on, stop Actually, it. Actually, that is very odd for a woman of... Well, what's... <laughs> those kind of looks. It's just, I don't know. Y you shouldn't believe that, okay? It's not true don't that I'm popular or, or that I've never had a boyfriend. Wait, no, no, no. What I meant to say was I, I don't need a boyfriend. Oh, you tell him. Jeez, Chie. <laughs> I love the way sorry, she laughs. Sorry, sorry. Puts her hand but on her stomach. This is our chance to talk to somebody from the big city, and you barely said a word. Hey, 
Hey, what's that? So that high schooler left school early, and as she came down this street... Wow! Who could imagine that hanging from an antenna? I didn't even know it could do bend that way. I wanted to see it too. Oh, you got here too late. The police and fire department took it down just a moment ago. But I took a picture and put it on my MySpace. Wanna see it? Well, I think it's terrifying. I can't believe a dead body showed up around here. Wait, what did she just say? A dead body? My body. Hey, it's Dojima. Hey, what are you doing here? Something happened? Well, you could say that. That damn principal. We told him not to let them through here. You never see what the principal of this game looks like, but you know what the principal of Persona 3 looks like. Hmm. I'm Detective Dojima, his guardian. Uh, well, how should I say this? I hope you get along with him. I just realized, I made a joke about me being an orphan in the game. I just realized in Persona 3, he is an orphan. <laughs> it's pretty sad. But you three really ought to stop wandering around and head straight home. <coughs> oh, those I were new you. clothes, too. How long are you going to act like a rookie? You want to be sent back to the central office? Yeah. I'm sorry. <clears throat> oh, go wash your face. We're gonna go around and gather information. <laughs> I like the way it runs. <clears throat> was this what that announcement was about? What do they mean it was hanging from the antenna? Hey, Yukiko! Why don't we go to Juness some other time? Good idea. Alright then, we're taking off. Starting tomorrow, neighbor. Let's do our best. I never understood why she called me neighbor. I don't live by her. Well, I don't, I don't live next to her. Like, right now. Like, yeah. Should at least walk them to their house. I mean, that's a common courtesy thing for a guy to do. I wonder if Dad's not coming home again tonight. Our top story this evening concerns a bizarre case in a quiet suburb. Around noon today, a woman was found dead near the Samegawa River in Inaba. The deceased has been identified as Miss Mayumi Yamano, a 27-year-old announcer hmm. at the local television station. A good day on. The initial results of the Inaba Police Department's investigation have revealed... Uh, the, the, the Inaba Police Department! That's where Dad works! <sighs> I know. That's his job, so this stuff happens. The body was found hanging from a large television antenna atop a local resident's roof. Television antenna? What kind of TVs have antennas nowadays? Authorities are uncertain as to why the body was in such a state. With the cause that has of to be death one huge antenna. <laughs> police continue to investigate whether the death is an accident or a homicide. Oh, it was an accident. He accidentally like tripped onto an antenna and twisted his body. A thick fog common to the area and, like, has slowed their progress, degree angle. and plans to fully canvas the area are delayed until tomorrow. It seems that the local TV stations and announcer was found ne dead near Yasugami High School campus. Mayumi Namino Yamano, bleh, her affair with the local councilman's secretary had been on the news just the other day. They found her on the roof? That's scary. 
Oh, being on a roof? Oh, it's Juness. Cause you can be on the roof at uh school. At Juness, every day is customer appreciation day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every, every day is great. great at your Juness. Not my, not my Juness. Your, your Juness. Monica's looking at you. Your Juness. You memorized it already? <laughs> I'm the best one in my class. Uh. Well, that's good. She shouldn't be absorbed with that kind of stuff anyway. Anyway, check the weather program. It looks like it's starting to get sunnier. When is Dad coming home? I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Anything fresh? Nothing at all. And he still can't leave the house because it'd be not. It'd be best not to leave today. The killer could be lurking around. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's it for now. Thank you guys for watching. When we come back, we'll just continue on with our life and. Uh, you know, it'll be all good, so that's it for now. And, uh, I still don't have an outro. Thank you, boo! Yeah.